Amongst the most beautiful in the country, the roads of Hampshire and the Isle of Wight are always busier than normal on a bank holiday weekend. As a biker, the lure of the rural lanes has a price. Injuries to motorcyclists are out of all proportion to their presence on our roads. Bikers make up just 1% of total road traffic, but account for 19% of all road user deaths. Jason is part of the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Air Ambulance Critical Care Team. He is part of a team of highly skilled critical care paramedics and doctors who bring their advanced trauma skills to sick and injured people when they need it most. A biker has lost control of his bike. He's in a remote location, so there is no way of getting a road ambulance to him quickly. Um, I I'm well, a motorcycle just hit a car, and it's pretty bad. There's a lot of blood. They are at the biker's side in less than 15 minutes. They can see his condition is going downhill rapidly. But giving him the care that he needs at the roadside during that first golden hour is what is going to count. There's been a couple of weekends fairly recently actually where all we've done is motorbike accidents. We can get anywhere in Hampshire within 15 minutes and then we can get to anywhere in the Isle of Wight within about 20. We bring skills and techniques and equipment to the scene, but one of the most important things that we have is our hands. You can feel for broken bones, you can feel if something's distended, you can feel injuries on someone, you can feel if something's swollen, you can feel a pulse on somebody. This week, Jason and the Air Ambulance Critical Care teams have dealt with over 30 calls already. But there's not much time for the team to rest and reflect. It's not long before someone else needs their help. Bikers rely on the air ambulance because they know that any day it could be them. But the air ambulance relies on your support. One of the hardest parts is seeing the family's reaction and it just said how much that person means to so many people around. We try and follow up as much as we can, but then if they come up here and we can see that you know they, they've got their lives back, that's probably the best thank you you can have from somebody.